Okay, now let's see how we set this up. Okay, if you wonder what this is, this is not, and it's just where I had my player set for transparent at the very beginning. This is the event, so we're just going to delete it, and we're going to redo this again. Okay. First thing, you can use a switch or create your own. Me, I like to switch, create my own, so I created one called Father. Okay. If you didn't want to do that, but I'm just showing you. Okay. And now we're going to do a conditional branch. And now what this means is if a condition is met, it'll go to the next part. If that condition is not met, well, then we'll see what was in the skia that I just did. Okay, so we're going to select our father equals own, and we're going to create an else branch. Now, else is up to you, but if you're going to add text and stuff, that's what you want to do. Okay, show text. Select our image graphic. I believe he was in people three. Oh, you know, there's a mat. That work. switch we'll use a I'm going to do that new event page so switch a goes to nothing let's check make sure it's same as characters yes applied okay now let's go to old daddy grounds here select all I'm going to delete all of this I'm going to do it all over again Show text, father, you can leave, now, now you can have a longer dialogue, I'm just doing this for an example, a friend wanted to know how to set this up, and it's pretty easy, so why not? <laughs> And I believe you was in people three. Yep, there's our king. Did you deal? And we want to turn on turn on our switch. So let's turn on father. New event page. Switch. Father. Now you could also even make this more advanced, like have the knots here and here and move, but he was asking how to set up a switch and a conditional branch, so this pretty well does that. Let me double check my work. Always double check, folks. So, yep, switch folder is on, switch folder. Check you. Action button. Yep. And we may want to actually also create maybe a transfer for them. So let's just go outside and we'll make them out. Because otherwise you're just stuck in there. I just thought of that. Okay. 
actually I might just start with a roof because see what this is you really want to try to match your seam the layout of the inside That looks pretty good. I don't want it's kind of wooden because they had a wood in it. Okay. And I may actually go back just for a second and do this. That looks way better than it did. Kind of mapping this out the way you want it. Yeah. You know, play with this one I had. Oh, that one does look more like what we got. Like I said, it's matching your scene. Try to match your scene as best as you can as well. And I'm so sorry about this. I, I kind of suck at outside mapping. I'm actually doing the best I can here. I'm more of an inside mapper. And we're going to add in maybe a little graphs right here. Maybe add some trees. And let's add a door. Like I said, I'm sorry. Um, I suck at outside mapping. Um, if I actually did map this, it would take like probably six and a half hours. I mean, it'll look good, but well, six and a half hours is a long time to map. But it's my little thing, I guess. But we all have our flaws. For me, it's outside mapping. For others, it might be something else. And if you're wondering what I'm using, that's called the Shadow Pen Tool. Alright, and let's go back to our house, or well, it really is a castle. And finally, we're going to transfer the player. We're going to wait 60. And transfer the player. To the outside. I mean, now this is optional. This was not part of what you asked. But this is also how you do the transfer and everything else. So I said I just put that in there. So please like, subscribe, and share, and enjoy the show.